What does Cardano ADA need to recover from the market slump? Well, it's quite simple. Cardano ADA needs a catalytic opportunity to leverage to deliver on all its promises and claim the position of the leading cryptocurrency. But is it possible to trust Cardano with another opportunity, given that all it has done has wasted so many of them in the past? Despite Cardano's interesting visions, a resilient team of developers, and a strong community, its price has not resumed in an upward move since the beginning of the year. It is still characterized by preposterous volatility and an uncertain future. The ADA coin price suggests that there are insufficient buyers, which has prompted it to drop below important support and initiated a bearish market structure breach. Currently, the ADA price has dipped below May's lows and is further drifting apart. A crypto trader, identified as Livercoin, cautioned in his technical analysis against catching a falling knife. He pointed out that ADA's retracements to levels last seen in May offers a possible chance for long positions if Cardano can regain lost territory. ADA just cleared the May lows, and I think a reclaim of a red zone could be an interesting long. No reason to knife catch it here, but just a setup to add to your watch list, he said. The benefits that the Vassal Hard Fork is set to introduce to the network are more likely to be realized in the long term as opposed to the near future. For example, stake Cardano ADA dropped to an 8th month low despite the Vassal upgrade. Cardano's TVL is currently at a 76.5% decline from its peak of 326 million in March. Of course, there have been some positive changes. Cardano has added over 100 smart contracts since the Vassal Hard Fork, while also reaching 3.6 million wallets as it continues to add new addresses to its network. The crypto community remains bullish on the price of Cardano, although acknowledging its current difficulties and limitations. What is going to pull Cardano out of these pitfalls? Well, the Vassal Hard Fork itself was a landmark event for Cardano, and two weeks after its launch on the mainnet, it could be argued that it had a positive impact on the blockchain. According to reports, Cardano had registered a total of 51.3 million transactions since its inception in 2017. About 12.5 million smart contract transactions were generated since the Alonzo Hard Fork. This accounted for almost 25% of all transactions generated in the previous year. Recently, the transaction count on Masari saw more than 55,000 transactions on the network. Meanwhile, Cardano stood number two on the list and ahead of Ethereum in terms of transaction volume. Cardano registered figures of 3.3 billion while Bitcoin only recorded 1.7 billion. The LHK chief, Charles Hoskinson, also highlighted some potent insights following the network's upgrade. He asserted in a tweet, one transaction distributed 16,164 ADA to 217 holders for a fee of 0.78 ADA. Tell me again how EUTXO can't scale and why we only do one TPS. In addition, development activity and trading trod the same bullish path, indicating a level of progress in Cardano. Is this a sign that the bulls are ready to make a comeback? And will Cardano use this progress to establish solid ground and be the number one crypto? Well, if we take a look at historical details, which cannot afford to be swept under the carpet, it reflects so many instances where Cardano's bullish indications have been swooned by disappointing failures. And as a result, several expectations have been cut short, and it's not surprising that a ton of investors do not trust the network. Just the same way that spectators' gazes are focused on a football player in possession of the ball who looks set to score a goal, a slew of interest revolved around Cardano when it was the world's third largest cryptocurrency. The ADA token skyrocketed by 150% in August of 2021, to become the third largest cryptocurrency in the world by market capitalization. But this triumph was only for a moment. The crypto market struggled to decide its direction and Cardano was knocked off its perch by Tether, the largest stablecoin in the world. But that's not the only disappointment Cardano encountered. Its market capitalization was bracing to hit $100 billion in September, following the bullish trail of the Alonzo hard fork update, but then the platform fell short of its triple digit goal at an all time high of $98.9 billion. It was quite horrendous as some investors were hoping that Cardano would reach the heights of Ethereum. Back then, even the presence of new partnerships were recently announced by the blockchain, which was not enough to shelter Cardano from pressure of the global crypto market and overwhelming slumps. Also, Cardano fell despite unveiling a new stablecoin, Jed, in collaboration with the fintech company, Cadi. In a white paper published in August of 2021, the Cardano founder described Jed as an autonomous bank that buys and sells stablecoin for a price in a range. Input Output also announced two new partnerships and a new dApp store. It is quite appalling that the impacts of these developments were short-lived, though. 
Cardano is undoubtedly a promising blockchain, but it has not hesitated to disappoint so many investors. Before the Alonzo hard fork was live, everyone was waiting for it, setting their hearts on astonishing expectations. It completed that milestone, but encountered a scalability hurdle. A DeFi investor's expectations from the Cardano blockchain are high, but when the first dApp launched on the Cardano's testnet, a series of disappointments flew into the air. MinSwap was the first DEX to launch on Cardano's testnet, and it faced scalability issues immediately after it got deployed with the dApp being only able to process one transaction per block. This development startled the users who tested the platform. A tweet addressed this problem on September 6 of 2021. It is unfortunate that we had to shut down our testnet temporarily. We have gathered enough data from our testers to improve the fundamentals of our DEX. In the next few days, we will publish our postmortem, our scaling solution, and when the testnet will be open again. Nonetheless, it is worth noting that Cardano is the first of its kind, and there was no idea of the problems that would bedevil it. The problem that MenSwap faced was a concurrency issue unique to the Cardano blockchain because it computes transactions using a distinct model from other blockchains. Cardano's functions use the extended UTXO model. Cardano's latest development comes with a shorter window of opportunity for a recovery in its price, and if it's not taken advantage of, it might lead to a sell-off. The spike in the Cardano transactions is a positive development for the entire ecosystem. Growth in transactions will positively influence Cardano's evolution as the fees received from these transactions will be used to encourage developers to continue building on the network. In turn, this will lead to the launch of significant decentralized applications, thus boosting the mainstream adoption of Cardano and its ADA coin. Currently, Cardano is at the cusp of receiving as many users as possible as Input Output Global is known for always building the project. Last month, Cardano led other projects regarding developer activities. A platform tracking social and technology-related data on cryptocurrencies, Centura, tweeted, quote, Our team analyzed the development activity of 7,400 crypto projects in August and improved our algorithms. Cardano is a new leader, end quote. Furthermore, with Ethereum's current performance, Cardano might have a sustaining ground to thrive on. Ethereum's price has plummeted following the release of the merge, and the progression of the network has been hampered by the Fed's activities. Generally, crypto's recent stability can be tied to the resiliency of long-term holders, but it remains to be seen whether that resiliency would stand the test of time. The Cardano community continues to cling to a positive view of the ecosystem's better days ahead. According to an ADA whale, in the next bull run, the best trading platform will be Cardano. In addition, he foresees that the biggest NFT platform supported by well-known companies would also be Cardano, as well as a fast-growing mobile network and the biggest DID project. He stated that Cardano has successfully weathered the storm, hence the confidence about the bullish predictions. As a matter of fact, Cardano Daily tweeted, Top 10 market cap in crypto market over time. The below infographic shows the top 10 coins with the largest market cap quarterly from 2021, excluding stable coins. As you can see, Cardano has always been in the top 10 for the last seven consecutive quarters. To be more precise, Cardano has always been in the top five of the largest coins in this market. What an achievement in both the 2021 bull and the 2022 bear market. Well, people appear to be giving up on Cardano, even though the current season is presenting more opportunities. As predicted by the popular crypto trader Dan Garmadello, the bear market seems to be in its final stages, and Cardano will thrive during the next bull market. Cardano Dex, Sunday Swap, has also marked a historic milestone in a scaling journey in the most recent Hydra implementation. Indeed, this cryptocurrency is now leaving a trail of impressive records, despite its past errors. But it is difficult to put the past behind us. However, if Cardano ends up skyrocketing in performance and claiming the position of the number one crypto spot, then this narrative will be the final resolution. But what are your thoughts on this? Let's have them in the comments section below. We'll see you in the next video, but before then, check out other videos to find out how Cardano is living up to the dream of being the Ethereum killer. And as always, make sure you click on the subscribe notification buttons.